what I meant. Okay, anyways. Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up, man? Not too much. We got a very special guest. We started already. Okay. Let's do yeah, that. we did. We did. He's here. Hey. He's here. Um, hey, Kyle from No High Beer Reviews. What's up? It's no totally- one on Instagram. Uh, sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> that's, that's what we do on this channel. It's totally cool. I'm used to, I'm used to just, it's me talking. Like, why? who are these other people interrupting my... <laughs> Profound statements. <laughs> um, I posted on Instagram earlier. Well, earlier is in whenever this gets released. The Instagram post. No one commented. No one guessed who it was. I said, "Hint, it's not Reed." Which, if Reed sees it, he may be a little offended. <laughs> oh, wow. But no, we love Reed. But it was more like someone special, a very special guest that we wouldn't expect so, to have. So Reed's special. <sighs> someone equally special to Reed. Everyone is equal and the same. Kyle sitting in the seat that he sits in. There's a stain on it, so he's got. It's disgusting. He's got. He's got <laughs> really. <laughs> And they wouldn't get me a towel to sit on, and I'm really unhappy about it. But we're going to power through it. Um, wow. So um, this is going to be the first of a trilogy of Nerd Sense No Hype um, collaborations. This is going to be on our channel. We're going to do another one on No Hype's channel. And then a third one's is going to go on our channel. But then there's going to be a very special quadruple uh, crossover, which we're not going to spoil for you right now. We'll let that other beer tuber uh, release his. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be – I don't think it's ever been done in, 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 in BrewTube history. If not, it's never been as cooler as us doing it. To Maybe. my knowledge, it's never happened, and that is infinite yes. knowledge. So for our first in-person collaboration, we're doing a side-by-side of a beer collaboration. And we totally planned that. And that we, wasn't off the cuff just now. And how did none of us think of that earlier? Because we're just, yeah, right. Perfect. Because we all drink too much except um, you for some reason. So I'm going to let you explain what we have because you sent one of these beers to us. Yes. And I and I have reviewed it. Um, the Bet from Barrier. So um, it's a unique collab. It's actually four breweries. So Barrier did the base beer. And then I believe it was Carton added wheat to it. So they used it. So they brewed it themselves. Then Innerboro had the same base beer, added wheat and oats. And then we have the other half, final one, where they did all of those steps and then added, what was it a copious amount? Of lactose. Of lactose. Yes. Um, so it should be pretty crazy doing the base base and then the granddaddy of them all together. And then it has a relatively clever name. This is Bat. And then there's... Raise. Raise. Re-raise. All in. All in. Yeah, so it just so it happened that um, the guy that I trade with, other half, um, in, in New York, he sent this. No one Kyle sent this. So I was like, and then Kyle said he's coming up. And I was like, well, it makes yeah. perfect sense for us to actually. Let's do it up. Do yeah. you want to start pouring that on your end? Um, I'm the guest. I, yeah. yeah, yeah what, pour why, why, why do you start pouring? I this? assume I, 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 can't, I can't open cans. Why don't you pour both of our beers? You can't <laughs> open cans. Wait, what? Is this a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a weird oh, thing. Oh, I never it's caught a, on this. It's a weird thing. So yeah. that'll be left glass or does Oh, or, uh, good call. They, they were up here left, right? Let's do, I have an idea. Okay. Nerd Sense glasses are going to have other half in it, so plus trillium, because we'll use that since that's a little different. So this is... Do, do other half in the trillium glass. Okay. Even though they're all their half, never mind. But yeah, yes. Do that's that another. Right. That, yeah. That's right, right. left. That way. Okay. We're back. We poured. Um, so we have bet in the glass glasses to our left. Yes. Um, and then all in to the right. Um, so I guess we should start with appearance. Mm-hmm. Let me. Do you want to do one at a time? Okay. Yeah. Let me uh, put the other camera on too, real quick. That looks. Like pineapple juice? Yeah. Cut with a little bit of... While I'm on camera too, I'll even hold up the second one. So okay. this is all in. On the cameras, they look almost identical, right? They don't look that, they don't look that different. No. The one, the, the one on the right's a little darker. If, if you had to pick, I think it wouldn't be surprising that the other half is a little I was just, thicker looking yeah. because of the wheat, the oat, yep. and the lactose. So it's... they do For being brewed at the two different breweries they're pretty similar it's crazy how similar they are yeah and that would be the only hint yeah was that you knew that that had those extra adjuncts yeah now you haven't had the carton or the envo version no unfortunately no no the barrier we got like at a local grocery store even which was cool that's crazy yeah it's just to go and buy that but yeah so no but i'm really excited because sometimes i've had this conversation i don't know if we've had this conversation but like you do a barrel aged stout but then you sometimes they don't it's not like a stout you can buy and just try it without the barrel age Mm -hmm. this is kind of cool we get to try the base yeah. And then the like everything in it version. So I'm pumped, yeah. Should we get a nose? Yeah, let's do it. Whoa. 
big pithy fruit. Tangerine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, super sweet citrus. So what do we say? Idaho 7, Kashmir, Columbus, and Citra. Yes. And that's the hop bill is the same for both. Double dry hopped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, super pithy, super that yeah. tangerininess. It's a lot of that kind of citrus. I mean, yeah. it really, not that it's one note, but that is, it, it is a big note. I mean, yeah. that is a big, you know, yeah. part of the pie chart. Yeah, you see that, that sweet kind of mm-hmm. orangey, tangerine kind yeah. of citrus. Yeah. I wouldn't say quite candied, but it's definitely that, like, it's yeah. not lemony, it's not grapefruit, it's not that, it's sweet citrus, yeah. the yeah. actual fruit. Yep. That's yeah. where I'd fall on it. Get a sip? Yeah. Cheers. Okay, cheers, guys. It's got a, it, it has that, it does have, like, we said there wasn't the candied sweetness on the nose, but I'm getting a little bit more on the palate. Yeah, but you still get a lot of, like, bitter pithiness as yeah. well. It's not an explosive in the tropical fruit on the palate as I was expecting on the on the from what I got on the nose. Mm-hmm. No, I agree, hundred uh, percent. It does have more of the candied, not quite like those orange slices, but like a candied, the real yeah. fruit if it was like candied. Yeah. And um, it, it, the bitterness is, I don't want to say way higher than the aroma would lead on, but it. Is, I mean, definitely, yeah. it, it's such a sweet aroma. The fact that it has that cutting of bitterness it is kind of. Surprising, and it's got this like cloudy mouthfeel, pillowy, like almost like, almost like you're drinking nothing. Which is going to be interesting when we get into these adjuncts that are so much about mouthfeel and right, oh, especially that the oats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really yeah, like crazy excited too. It almost feels, and I don't want to. It feels like there, there, there's going to be a burst of flavor, and then like it pulls back. Yeah, it feels a little muted. A little reserved there. A little reserved. Yeah, that's, a, that's probably a better way to put it. You know what I mean? Does yeah, that yeah, make sense? for sure. I agree with you. I think muted was a nice way of saying it. Yeah, yeah. muted. No. Yeah. Mute yeah. me for saying reserved. <laughs> no, it's good. It is. <laughs> Be here all night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Should right. we go on to other half? Yeah. Uh, yeah, color. We already went over that. It's, yeah. I mean, it is. It, it's, it's similar, but yeah. it looks like you made it a little bit murkier or whatever. Yeah. You, you you clouded it up. Yeah. But the colors, wow. Should I get a nose? Yeah. Mm. Whoa, that's a big difference. D- yeah, well, okay. Super candied. Yeah. yeah. Very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is so this is a sw- sweet citrus, the actual fruit. This is more candy. Wow. Yeah. And I'm, getting, I'm getting vanilla in there, too. That's got to be from the lactose. I'm, I'm 100% be, yeah, positive, yeah. yeah. I'm almost getting it like that. What did I? What did I call it? A dream sickle. I was just gonna say cream sickle. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Was, that's too funny. I remember you guys talking about that one video because you had what, different what names it? for it. I called it a cream sickle. Cream sickle, and then you had or a dream bar or something. Dream, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And then you guys had a. It was really uncomfortable to watch. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I already had my I had to watch my parents get divorced when I was young. I was like, oh, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna start oh, doing wow. separate videos now because <laughs> they couldn't agree on. <laughs> orange and vanilla flavors together um but that, that's sort of what we're getting out of the we, big yeah, time is that yeah that, that creeps yeah it's definitely the aroma is 70 percent creamsicle like it's it's yeah. it's, it's nuts. you you couldn't put this under someone's nose and they wouldn't think that candy bar 100 percent. but it's it's getting close i mean it, it's it's wow yeah, it's it smells delicious. But you're not getting as much of that pithiness at all. They no. on this one. This is much no. more just like, like sweet fruit, vanilla, and really that's pretty much my my big takeaway. Not artificial either. Like it doesn't come no. across as as a laboratory made no. this aroma. No. Should we get taste? Jeez, these are okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we can compare. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, I'm so excited. Cheers. Cheers, ladies. There's that mouthfeel. Yeah. There's that lactose. There's this that the oats. Is- the wheat. This is great. I mean, I know, like the uh, the bourbon barrel versus a regular stout base beer. Like this is really cool to see what that does. It really makes a big difference. Like I would love to try the carton in the in the interval. It'd be cool to do all of them. Like. Yeah, and they're right. He, no, I wish they were right here. That was <laughs> really like, cool. Yeah, we were hiding them the whole time. No, we don't have them. But uh, it is. But it, but to go from the the base to the finish, but it would be really cool to be able to do mm-hmm. each step. But but the jump is providing us a cool opportunity to yeah. see that makes a big difference uh, in taste. Obviously, I agree 100% with the aroma too with that lactose, but that mouthfeel. 
We've done a similar before. I've done. A, I did it with Reed when when you were. No, no, you were somewhere, and it was the uh, triangle test that uh, other half and Trillium collab. And they did okay. four different beers, and they different hops. We had the the highest one that they did. Like, they mixed it all together, and we had like one of the lower ones. Okay, so it was like the base beer, and then it was like the craziness version of it. Yeah, there's always an interesting like. Yeah, it's really cool. Wow. So yeah, I really want to do like. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I got. Yeah. Going back to this, after smelling this and then smelling this. My nose is like, what the hell is that? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you this much, honestly. I don't know which one I prefer on the nose, um, because they, they they are so different. Like this, I'm definitely getting like more of, of like just like you know, that that slight fruit juiciness, and then a little bit of that pithiness. It's it's, it's very like yeah. um like a piece of fruit, you know. Yeah. And this is much more like um like a chef got a hold of it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, do you want the the real orange that's in front of you or the candied orange in front of you? Uh, yeah, so I mean, like, I I don't get like the the uh, cream sickle a whole lot on the flavor. I am getting orange. I am getting vanilla. Yeah, yeah. But but it's 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 less ice creamy. The, the 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 mixing. Yeah, you know. But this really is is almost just like, you know, like it it has all those those fruit notes you're looking at, like in real life. You know, yeah. you are getting a little bit of rind. You're getting yes. a little bit of that pith. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that big fruit. This is much more, like I said, it's more, it's more candy. There's more, yeah. there's more of, um, it's a little creamier. It's a little sweeter. It, it, it's well, like, you know, I said, this is the fruit and this is what happens when someone plays with it for a little while. So yeah. like they both have their merits. Exactly. I, I'm going to say, yeah, aroma. It depends what you're looking for. Cause they're not, yeah. One's not drastically better or worse. Nope. Mouthfeel. Clearly. Clearly. Agreed. Mm -hmm. All in. And then taste is probably going to be, for me, close to the aroma. What are you looking for? Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. And the, the ABVs are very close. So if you're just. 7.372. Seven, 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 yeah. I mean, are you in the mood for a little bit more bitterness? Yeah, but I, mood, I, 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 feel I, like, I feel like the, depending on the day is which Right. One? And that's what I'm trying to get at. It's like. I, I want both of these beers. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, like, and it's it, it, for how different they are. I want both of them. Yes. It, it, and it's interesting that the base beer, we're not just like crapping on it. It's not just like, this is like, yeah. once you have this, why would you ever want a beer that doesn't have oats and wheat and lactose? It's like, no, this is still like amazing. Yeah. And this is a really amazing beer with all that stuff. I, wow. I'm, I really, to be honest, I, I came in expecting to think that or, that this was going to crush this. I, I did too, actually. That's going to be yeah. like, this is. Well, what I was thinking is why would each brewer allow the other person to do something a little more sophisticated. It's like, oh, because the base beer is so fucking good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. 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 And well, yeah. So <laughs> if, you, if you're barrier, it's like, no, people are going to like this. Don't worry. Like, yeah. I, I, we're confident because we, we know this base is good. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I think, um, actually, I think that when I went back to this one, I liked it even more. I liked it, you know, and, and not, not more than this. No, 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 no. But, but trying to both, I, I was like, oh, this is really good. This is really good. And now I'm I'm actually liking them both more. Yeah. I can well, and you guys like, them. I mean, we, we we like the the juice juicy IPAs, yeah. but you guys also like bitter IPAs. I mean, I love a bitter IPA yeah. Yeah, me too. as well. So it is, I think, to your point, you get the sweetness in this, you go back, so it ups the perceived bitterness of this. Mm -hmm. It's very pleasant. Yeah, that's yeah, because because it's not that 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 bullshit bitter like to be bitter. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it, it has that, yep. that. It's like that rindy. Yep. Pithy kind of business yep. that I love so much. Yep, comes across very naturally. Right. Yeah. Again, real fruit. It's, it's, right. It's, yeah. So yeah, both of these beers are amazing. Um, and, and and what I got out of what both of you were saying was cuvee. I am okay with that. <laughs> okay. I think I have a pretty much even. So we'll try to get them even, and then I have a pretty much even right here. I think right. I'm pretty. Uh... I feel mm. like I'm doing a good job. Yeah. And I don't care. No sense glass it is. Like, okay, beer looks pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's a hair more towards the other half because it has yeah. some murkiness, but whoa, that's actually different too. That, yeah, that, okay, <laughs> I mean, we talked about this word off camera, and I don't know if it's been used to describe an aroma, but it, it smells a little astringent to me. <laughs> like, actually, in their, like, I, I don't know, I, 
Yeah, it's a little more hot matter. Right? Like, yeah. Like, but but I'm still getting that candiness, but I'm getting yeah. the bitterness, too. So it's like a nice... It, it, well, it makes sense. It's an, an amalgamation of the... Temperature. It's interesting. Yeah, but I feel like the, the orange is almost intensified. You, you mm. Which makes sense because you got orange in both different ways, but it, you get the, you get both beers uniquely mm. in here, which is kind of blowing my mind, and then how what, what they come together, how they make it different. To this. Yeah. I'm, I'm surprised how different it is. Did you drink? Mike did it, so that's okay. Oh, okay. I, I, I wasn't waiting. My bad. <laughs> for marriage or for, oh, for the drinking? Then? Okay, my bad. Yeah, this, this is getting weird. Um, <laughs> wow, that's really good. Wow. They need to keep four kegs of this and then blend it. Yeah, this is really good. I mean, better. like, okay. Well, if I had to pick one, I'd pick this. <laughs> yeah, like, no, but no joke. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. Like, this is. Yeah, because honestly, like I'm, I'm getting like that intense orange. I'm getting a nice pithiness, yeah. and that the sweet, uh, sweetness has been like muted just a little bit. Yeah. But I'm still getting that little bit of vanilla. I'm getting that yes. great mouthfeel. Yeah. I'm getting all those great notes, but the orange is a little more intensified. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. what I'm, this is actually. This pro- is yeah. For as much as those are tied for me. Yeah, agreed. This is better. No, yeah. agreed. Yeah, I guess. So, okay, so a couple of things. So, keep doing this. This is like other breweries should also do this. Yes. And then, Sweet. yeah, Cuvée it. Like, that'd be a cool fifth can release, guys. Like, or if you could do all four, that'd be, that'd wow. blow my mind. But yeah. these two work Cuvée like really well. Yeah. And, and, and stuff like this, it helps, like, I think it helps people understand what flavors they like more. And it's easier to mm-hmm. kind of like, See, okay, so that's what lactose does to a beer. That's yeah. what wheat, wheat does. That's what oats do to a beer. And it kind of gives someone that, that maybe wouldn't know normally a better idea. Yeah. I mean, how immediate that was different. Yeah. Aroma, the mouth. I mean, the mouth feel. Oh. That, that, that's insane to yeah. so quickly be able to tell that's what wheat, wheat and oats does. Yep. Awesome. Um, yeah, so both of these beers are amazing. Get them both. Yeah. Um, and then pour them together in a glass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. Like, yeah, like you, you were doing yourself a favor. And if you have all four, let us know in the comments. Send them our way. Yeah, I mean, drink them that, and enjoy that, them and comment on how they're good. Yeah. And then send them our And then if you have extra, send them yeah, our yeah. way. And Cuvée, yeah. and Cuvée uh, Again, no hype beer reviews. I know they're not going to, probably they're going to edit this out so no one sends me it, but <laughs> no hype beer reviews. Also on YouTube. <laughs> Instagram untapped. I'll, I'll just edit your personal address in there. Yeah, to make a sentence, that would be perfect, right? That would make sense. Yeah, I mean, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, I mean, if, if I get that, all four of them, cool. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I'll, I'll put that out there. Sure. You guys need my social security number too. Yeah. Okay. A little, a little bit of anthrax. <laughs> you thought the wheat and oats made it? Never mind. Oh man. First um, review of the night. Hmm. Man, yeah, that's good. Um, I, I don't even think it's there's. I don't think there's there's any reason to give a score out separately or anything like that. Whatever you guys want to do, no, these are these are fantastic. The, the, these these are beers that if they brew again, get them, yeah. get them. They're still drinking great. The barrier is probably a little over a month old at this point, right? Great. Yeah. What's and, the other um, half? The other half Clay is is more three one. Yeah, so that's just under but, a month, and I think barrier is two nineteen. Yeah, two weeks, uh, eleven days, and like how good that's drinking. Yeah, again, we were talking about this off camera earlier, just like Trillium and stuff. Some of these beers, people are like, "You got to drink them." Like the day they release, it's like not always. No, let, let not them breathe always. a little bit. No. I had forgotten that that beer was not super fresh. Yeah, it's it's still damn delicious though. Yeah, that's really good. It's it, it's literally five weeks old. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is, and it's delicious. <laughs> yes, I agree. There. Awesome. Cool. Um, so, yeah, again, let us know in the comments if you had these two. Let us know in the comments if you've had all four. Which one's your favorite out of all four? Um, and just what you think if you mix them together and what you think of us uh, mixing them together if uh, you hate Kubang, because I know some people don't really like it. And let us know who's the most handsome person on the screen. Fair enough. Who has the best beard, maybe? Mm. Mm. Who has the least amount of hair? Well, I mean, but it's close. If you guys took your hats off. It's pretty close. <laughs> if you took your hats off, guys. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> um, yeah, and don't forget to check out No Hype's channel. Uh, we'll link to him down in the comments and we'll probably link to him somewhere. Actually, I'll probably just put it right over his head. Right there. It's so heavy. (laughs) And um, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. I'm Kyle from No Hype. And this is Nerd Sense Drinks.